Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of All You Can Eat with Thrive. Today we're here with Nera Ban at Masa Bakery. Before we dive into this, we're gonna get baked. I mean, we're gonna get baking. You know, make, cake, shake, all those things. Let's get into it. Open my phone and look at Instagram. The oh, first thing? Yeah, the Gen first Z thing. Much? The first thing, yeah. Gen Z much? <laughs> I've got to figure out. You taught me how to dab right now. I did, yeah. You yeah. were showing me <laughs> Sorry. I see. It. It's, okay, it's okay, it's okay. What's your top breakfast food? <laughs> It's a perfect half-boiled egg and a piece of toast. That's it? That's it. A lot of people don't know you're a trained intimacy coordinator. Yes. How the fuck did that happen? <laughs> um, so, I'm also a trained filmmaker and um, when I did class, I got really interested in the idea of an intimacy coordinator because I thought it like really merged all my passions together, which is filmmaking and, <laughs> and intimacy on set. And intimacy on set <laughs> is my passion. Yeah. Safe intimacy on set. Sex. Yeah. Safe sex. Simulated sex. So yeah, so I thought it was a really cool thing to be able to understand how to um, show like Indian intimacy. As an in, as an intimacy coordinator, what's the most whack experience you've had? Um, so I recently shot um, a, a sex scene in a forest and it was supposed to be the climax of the film for one of the characters. Uh -huh. So she and her boyfriend, they run away uh, to this island and they have uh, sex in a forest. And executing that doesn't work. If anybody's had sex in a forest, it is not fun. <laughs> you just have like insects and dust and bugs and things. And of course, when you're doing simulated sex in a forest, it's especially not fun because people are awkward and you're doing it over and over again. And it's, my, my actors were champions. They really so you through. went on set as an intimacy coordinator. Yeah. Uh, what's the misconception people often have about this side of a profession? The intimacy coordinator yeah. side? Um, that I'm making people have sex on set. I'm not making people have sex, nor am I a sex therapist. I cannot therapize you into having better sexual relations with your partner. Okay. Now, okay. butter, this and this. Butter, and bet oil, Betty right? bought some better butter, but the butter was bitter. Betty so bought some better butter, but the butter, what? Why? Do you know how to say, do you know that saying? Betty bought a bit of butter, but the bit of butter was what better, so Betty bought another bit of butter to make the bit of butter better butter. Wow, I it? <laughs> Amazing. My palms are sweaty, so I don't know. These weak are, oh my god, that's a very good one. We gotta get, everybody gotta clap for that, that was good. Uh, how did Moments of Silence come about? I have been following Sakshi since the pandemic mm -hmm. and I think she's so funny and um, I really really wanted to start a podcast and I just literally like almost DM'd her being like hey do you think I'm a small content creator would you like to make a podcast with me and she was very much on board and we've just been like we've hit the ground running and I love I love all the time that we have when we shoot together. If you had a if you could get a dream guest the moment of silence yeah who would it be? Emma Chamberlain. You know what? And separately I'd really like to get Sushmita Sen. What do you enjoy more? Being behind the camera or in front of it? Um, my mom will probably be really angry, but I love being behind the camera. Sorry, mama. <laughs> Sorry. Like I grew up, like all of my work life has been behind the camera. Mm -hmm. Like I've been a director, I've been an editor, I've been a DA, I've been an AD, I've been client servicing, making decks, and now I'm an actor. So wow. I, I, yeah. she I feel more comfortable Adam. at the back. Really? Yeah, it's autopilot. That's right. Yeah. That's the first time they hear that from an actor. Favorite part of being on the set of Made in Heaven? Um, to work with some really amazing directors. That was a favorite. Did yeah. you get to be behind the, like behind the camera? No, at all? yeah, no. no? Would but you have liked that? Yeah, I would have. Season one for the weddings and season two for the stories. Pursuing as much as you do, it doesn't seem easy. What's the one thing you do that always brings you back to your room? I like to take, I don't know, it's, like a, it's not even a like a clear day or a clear, I get a day in the week where suddenly at like 3 o'clock at night, I have nothing to do and I've been able to switch my brain off. And then I watch Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. You studied in Ahmedabad, right? Yeah, I What's did. your top snack place in Ahmedabad? There was this place, I don't know if it still exists, it's called Sandwich Works, ZZZ, Sandwich Works. ZZZ. Yeah, ZZZ, yeah. And there was this other place, Oh my god, if you live in Ahmedabad, like, and if you're a non-vegetarian, there's this place called Rupali. They used to at, 
एट माई टाइम गिव यू लाइक मटन सुक्का विद रोटी फॉर सिक्सटी रुपीज अ प्लेट एंड थ्री रुपीज फॉर अ रोटी आई थिंक लाइक वंस अ वीक वी वुड गो दीमर You have to be ambitious to give me a lot of attention. A lot of attention. Yeah, a lot of attention. Mm. Let me ask you some questions. Abhishek Gandhi, um, if you could describe Gen Z, as the adults call it, with a dish, what would it be? With a dish? Yeah. I feel like millennials are like lasagna. You know, it's like a nice comfort food. You've got a lot of layers. Makes you feel oh, yeah. heavy, sluggish in the morning. <laughs> But so it you goes really down. Get out of the Fuck! You should do all you can eat instead of me. <laughs> you know those roadside. You know that dirty in like Bombay sambar that gives you acidity. That's, That's your generation. Z. Yeah, it's tasty. You heard it here first. It's tasty, <laughs> yeah. but inconsiderate, fucking loser behavior, Gen Z. I'm sorry, but that's how I really feel about. Okay, I respect your opinion. Oh my god, this is all my Nigella Lawson muscle memory coming back. She is like my sex icon. Just the way she used to have those like midnight snacks. I love Nigella Lawson. I'm guessing that you had some really good food when you were growing up. What's like an emotional food? And up, who made it for you? My daddy. Oh my god, that's so sweet. And my dada like taught my yeah like little, uh, little parenti like, yeah, yeah it goes yeah. My dada taught my daddy to make it. Oh cute. When my daddy lived with us, every Sunday morning with ketchup on the side, I would have at least like four. Really? Easy. And they're like so thick and big, and it it made me really happy. Very emotional, or yeah. Sorry, okay, fine. What would you feed your enemy? <laughs> Mm. Just to just to turn the vibe up. Turn the vibe up. Abhishek, don't cry. I would feed my enemy um, soya chap. Dude, I had that in Delhi. Or arbi, arbi ki tikki. Arbi is really tasty. What? Here, all you can eat with life. We're all about taking food personally. So let's do something. Huh? Yeah. I'm gonna give you different situations and emotions you would have experienced at one point in your life. Yes. And you need to tell us the first food that comes to mind. Okay. Are you ready, Nana? Yes. Hang um, over. Oh, uh, bacon. On the set of class. Regularly order like from Blue Tokai the sandwich and the coffee because that was the most convenient thing. Home. Rogan Josh. I'm Kashmiri. Post shopping. Pizza. From where? Oh, so in Delhi, I know. So uh, Leo's or Evu in Bombay, I'm still figuring it out. I end up eating at like Sinona's. School food. Spring roll that was uh, filled with chow mein that was filled with oil. Bad health health bad. Yeah, okay. health bad. Munchies. Burnt Basque cheesecake. A hot chocolate fudge from Nirulas. Uh, what are you having when you're on your period? Any kind of like Asian curry. I want sticky rice and I want like a nice umami flavor in the broth. Lazy Sunday food. Lazy Sunday food. Rajma chawal with kebab. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Food when you're drunk. Butter chicken roll. Favorite food to have at a birthday party. Uh, a barbecue. Oh, so good. Oh, uh, what are you having on a rainy day? Um I'm having a uh, mixed pakoras like I love spinach chili onion like mixed up yeah. and then fried which I with coffee with coffee or coffee first I'm a coffee person Okay yeah. post sex like a nice carbonara Dude this is too specific fuck you know whenever you're done have a say you should we should eat <laughs> just hey Nana, are you done let's go eat some food You need carbs You need carbs and salt Okay comfort food ramen school different sandwiches That's it for the five cycle. Let's get a baking this. I got spoons to a croissant party, so let's go. Get her cancelled now. <laughs> Only useless moves in 2024. Only useless moves. Tell <laughs> I me, mean, what's the weirdest fan interaction you've had? Actually, everyone's been really nice. I have imposter where when someone's really excited to meet me, like there's been moments when somebody's want to take a photo with me. and they're shaking like their bodies are shaking and i just can't believe that i am having that effect on another human being like this is all very new for me that's crazy i have had fan moments with other like now that i go now that i get access to a world where i can meet celebrities that i've watched on screen when i walk into a room like sushmita sen i died zina taman i cried if you could play the character of someone else on class what yeah. would it be it would be sure. um Cheers, my dad, Tarun Kalra. If you had your own restaurant, huh. what would it be called, and what would you serve there? It would be called Hello Flaky. <laughs> Hello Flaky. Yeah. Sandwiches. Sandwiches. Like nice pulled meats and coffee. Yeah. 
Since you're a, since you're quite the cinephile, what are your top three favorite like all time movies? Lost in Translation, Only God Forgives, and um, Tikli. And you have a favorite director? Sofia Coppola. I think Nana is the most sorted person I know. She knows the first shit. She knows what she doesn't like. Yeah. Most famous contact on the phone right now. My favorite contact who I do love to reach out to is Ulfi Javed. She's too much fun. She's the most like generous, hardworking person that I know. Give me two th things that you could say while eating as well as as well as being an intimate, intimate, intimacy, coordinator. intimacy coordinator. Intimacy coordinator. Pack up. Pack up. Okay. Um, okay. Do you need a tissue? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> and that's a good dab. <laughs> oh, that wraps it up. Thank you, Diana. Thank you. I love this. I love like thank you for introducing me to Masa and we're gonna go to Juhu go to after Juhu. this and finish our entire meal. And finally, before we wrap this up, I want you to sign the all you can tawa. Yeah, I never thought I would become famous, so my sign sucks. You know what? It's I... so fucking bad. Let me put a heart on it to just shake things up. <laughs> Thank you to Nana once more. Thank you, Ben. And thank you to Masa Bakery for having us in their beautiful unit. Uh, check them out at Juhu at their bakery. Um, see you in the next one. Thank you, Nana. Tang. <laughs> <laughs>